This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news, with Stacy Baca, and weather with meteorologist Mark Bishop. This is ABC 7 News, Saturday morning. March is National Nutrition Month, and if that's inspired you to maybe switch things up in the kitchen, we have a special recipe for you. And Anupi Singla recently published a book on Indian slow cooking. This morning she's going to actually kind of teach us what's going on here because Absolutely. this could be somewhat intimidating, I think. I, I think of Indian food, and I haven't tried it, and so you, it's kind of like how do you break into that? And that was the whole That's point right. of your cookbook, to kind of make those of us who are beginners feel more That's comfortable. Right. So there's a ton of Indian cookbooks out there. There's a ton of slow cooker books out there. What I did was I did something that my mom's been doing since the 70s, cooked Indian food in the slow cooker. Okay. And just made it really simple. So you basically take things together, ingredients, throw them into your slow cooker, and throw in the spices. And I teach people about the basic seven to eight spices that they need. And you basically are good to go. So I'm going to teach you how to make a lamb biryani. Okay, so lamb biryani mm -hmm. is the first dish we have here. But yep. how do you get started on this? Okay, so you're going to take the onions. We've chopped them up already. And we're going to let them just go ahead and fry up on the stovetop. Now, I always like to do the meat dishes in my book because they are the most complicated. If I did 90% of my book, which is a lot of lentils and beans, it would just be, okay, chop this and dump it in. And that's right. essentially it. So this is just a little bit more complicated. Okay. And it's a lot of layering. So we're going to let that cook up as it kind of gets that nice aroma. And we're going to take the marinade. The marinade is so key. And in my marinade, I've done basically ginger, garlic, grated, which okay. gives you a great flavor instead of having to use a food processor, a little bit of um, mint, and then um, cilantro. And you chop it all up, and you've got it in there. Normally, you would marinate the meat in this in a dry marinade overnight right. with some spices. I'm going to let you spice it. Okay. It let's is do so it. easy. So this is a spice box that's based on a traditional Indian spice box, but I designed this. I patented this design. We rolled it out at the houseware show about uh, two weeks ago. And you can level your spoons right in your box. Right, so if you take nice. this, okay. you're going to do a tablespoon of the garam masala, and you're going to throw that in. And I've got, um, you're going to put that right back. Okay. And a teaspoon of the salt. And I got all of these set up for this morning. Sorry, I should probably turn that around for you. No, it's all good. And then we've got one teaspoon of the turmeric. All these spices, because um, we are talking about nutrition, are incredibly healthy for you. They're and they all, smell delicious. They smell good. Love this. Antioxidants, all of that good stuff. What's um, that? This is just yogurt. Okay. And most of our marinades with Indian meats and whatnot are marinated in yogurt. So we're going to mix this all up and essentially marinate the meat. So you've got the lamb here, and I used a lamb shoulder. I asked them to cut it up for me in little stew pieces, stew-sized pieces. We're going to mix this up, and then I take the onions that, if you recall, are up over here. Right. Now, they would be cooked down just a tiny bit more. Here's my slow cooker. This is a cheap $30, $40 thing you can pick up at Target anywhere. Throw this in here. And with biryani, it's key to know it's all about the layering and the spicing. So we're going to put that there, and we're going to take now your meat. Okay. And stick it right in. And that's literally it. That's it. So let it cook. Now, again, most of my dishes are in the book where, you know, you would um, let them just sit for a couple hours, maybe eight to ten hours because right. they're beans. But this is a two-hour process. And then once that's done after the two hours, the key to biryani is a one-pot meal. You'll stick your rice over top of it. So say that cooked for two hours and it's smelling wonderful and you've got all the um, different, you know, um, juices going and all of that. You're going to take this rice. Okay. Which was just about two cups of rice with half the water. It's al dente. All and right. we're going to take, let's take um, a fork so it's clean. And we're going to go ahead and put that right over top. And then let that cook for how much longer? For an hour. And, and then it's all done. It is done. All right. Well, Anupi, thank you so much. <laughs> Fabulous recipe here. And, of course, we've posted the recipes on our website. That's abc7chicago.com. And you can find it on clicking on See It on TV. And the name of your book? The book is The Indian Slow Cooker. The blog is indianasapplepie.com. All right. Thank you so <laughs> thank much. You. Look forward to actually giving this a try.